Hello everybody, before we get into the opening of several packs of Desert Storm cards, including the Pro Set ones that I don't believe I ever had the chance to open when I was younger, I do remember these. I just want to say a very genuine and sincere happy Memorial Day, and thank in a very extra special thank you to everybody out there watching who has served, knows somebody that has served uh, in the military. Truly, truly thank you, because... Um, it's through the service of military people that allows us to be able to sit here together and be able to do, to do stuff like this. So uh, a very true, genuine, and sincere thank you to all the veterans out there and the families of the veterans as well. Um, these, the Desert Storm cards, I remember these ones. I had... I think almost maybe the entire set of the Desert Storm cards, and these came out in 90, 91. Uh, don't know if I remember the Desert Shield ones, but I definitely never got a chance to open the pro, to see the pro set ones. Um, I had most of them, and uh, most, actually, the entirety of the set. Um, sadly ended when um, there was a minor flooding at uh, in the basement of my mom's house. So it's going to be good to get back into them. I haven't seen them in forever, and I, I've seen other people opening them, and I was like, you know, I really should get back into it. And as luck would have it, the giant box of uh, mixed jank cards uh, that I got recently had quite a few of these in there. So honestly, I don't think there's any better way to uh, spend Memorial Day than to take a look at, you know, one of the more recent, the more recent things and, you know, just, just sit and enjoy because there's some cool stuff. I remember there's a lot of cool photography, uh, like this, the 155 millimeter howitzer, which is just, uh, Jihomus. Um, yeah, can be towed. Yeah, it should be towed. It is, uh, 155 millimeter. I don't know exactly how big this that is. Let's let's just say it's it's big. And then I loved these, like the the pictures of like the missiles and everything actually in flight. The Tomahawk cruise missile, and it's just and and the Sidewinder missiles. And a lot of these are like you know kind of iconic in the annals of military history, especially throughout. Desert Storm, Desert Shield, which is, you know, not that long ago, if you really think about it. Look at that. I mean, that is just a terrifying piece of machinery. And I love the planes. Shout out to, uh, shout out Tristan. He can probably give a better breakdown of any of these planes than I ever could. The uh, C-141B 14, Starlifter, and that was a thing. You got all the cool military vehicles, like tanks. Who doesn't love tanks? Marine armor. That's what we're saying. The F-14 Tomcat. I just love... I love the design of, of planes. There we go. And ships, we got it all. The USS LaSalle. So this is going to basically touch upon... <coughs> excuse me, the service of all the different branches in the U.S. military. The Marines dig in. Oh, man. Can you imagine having... I couldn't, you know, I... Uh, was in the generation that was slightly, you know, that was basically, I was still a young child when Desert Storm and Desert Shield were going on, but by the time the latest stuff that was going on, I was, old oh man, we got the A6 intruders in formation, and talk about just raw skill in piloting these things so close to each other. The AV-8B Harrier, love those, love them. Oh, I'm I'm sorry, but that, I mean it's we know that this is a, you know, a weapon of mass destruction. To be honest, it's a friggin' missile, but there's something hauntingly beautiful about that shot, of the a test missile fire of a tomahawk. It, I don't know. It just really, it makes you think, and it makes you makes you realize how lucky you, you really should feel. We go the USNS Mercy. What's NS? US. What does it say? Somewhere in the Persian Gulf. USNS. Naval. Okay, USNS. United States 
I, I'm not 100% sure. If anybody knows what USNS stands for, uh, please let me know. General Colin Powell actually got him to uh, sign a card for me. Not this one. May have been one of the pro sets um, before he passed. The A-10 Thunderbolt 2 refuels, and that's the thing. Mid-air refueling, you know, it's it blows the mind. Maintenance on the move. The B-52G with cruise missiles. Whew. Evacuation exercise. That is just... That's terrifying. You know, even with the the flash guard up there, just that cloud. I mean, the M60, the M60 A3 tank. Tanks are just incredible to me. Recon patrol. The USS Missouri. As in BB. And, and yep, yeah, that's uh. That's one of the big ones. That is one of the ships that, if you if you retrofitted it today, that ship would probably be the most incredible ship on the face of the earth. The USO show, and the oh, that's a big plane, the B fifty two Strato Fortress. That name just really sums it up. And this is just an incredible walkthrough. Just like not that long ago, military technology. Now the the pro set which. Okay, yeah, I definitely never did see these. But these are really, really cool looking. Military asset. The M551 Sheridan. Okay, I see how this works. Phonetic alphabet. Phonetic alphabet. Military skill. Yeah, that's... Oh, there's the actual alphabet. I knew most of them, but there were a couple that I forgot. There you go. If anybody is curious, I completely forgot that. That is, that is that is a cool little... It's a random thing to know. The USS Constitution. The pictures are beautiful. We've got... We've got Turkey. Okay, so we've got country cards. We've got Turkey. We've got Jordan. we got the FA-18 Hornet. That's a sweet-looking plane. The T-62 main battle tank. And that is... Manufacture USSR. Okay, so that would be... I was going to say, that looks like um, the Iraqi side. All right. Just Islam? Card about Islam. What is this? Followers, 900 million. That's, I think that's probably more than that. This was 1991. Yeah. And we got the United States Coast Guard. Is that a, is that a clipper ship? It looks like a legitimate clipper ship. That is really cool. In Morocco, I know actually um, uh, when my grandfather was in World War II, he uh, spent some time in Morocco. Absolutely beautiful looking country. Beautiful. The AH-1 Cobra. The choppers. I, there's military plane, uh, stuff that flies overhead now and then. Every now and then I hear the um, the Chinooks. The, maybe we'll get one. The big double bladers. The USS John F. Kennedy CV-67, CV Air Care Carrier, I believe. Yes, it is. That's a, a floating city right there is what that is. The, the simple, simply incredible works of engineering. The U.S. Army. There's General Powell once again. I know there was, in this set, there was a lot of the, um, the military uh, high-ranking personnel in there, but so far we've only seen General Powell. Iceland. The F... Is that F1? F1M 92A Stinger. No. Discipline. <coughs> Excuse me. Middle East history present. That is. And just as. It's an indescribable shot, I think you would have to say. The U.S. Military Academy at West Point in very, very far downstate New York. And we've got the card for the Oman. Is it Oman or Omen? I think Oman. Don't actually know anybody from there, I don't believe. Pack number three of four of this. This has just really been fascinating. The UH-1 Iroquois. And, and then it makes you think, like, amazing that just that rotor keeps that thing in the air. Survival. Okay, so we got the survival kit. Chronology of events. 
Gulf News. Oh, that's right. The military would actually have printed a paper. There's Taiwan, Qatar, the B-52 Strato Fortress, which let's see if this thing has the dimensions on it. Uh, massive. 595 mile an hour armament, crew six. Well, it actually does not say how big it is. Uh, let's just put it this way. It's big. It can hold 60,000 pounds. So that is a a big mamma jamma. Education, I mean, I can't even imagine. The Pentagon, it's a cool looking shot. The Canadian Executive Branch, shout out to Canada. And another geography card of Saudi Arabia. I like the geography cards. And that's the cool thing about this. It, it They were, you know, commemorating something that happened, but also weirdly educational. The A1M9 Sidewinder. Those are just cool-looking missiles. What do we got here? Recognition cards. Oh! Visual aircraft recognition. So basically flash cards. Interesting. Pledge of Allegiance. I'm sorry, that is just a beautiful-looking flag. Here we go. Ali Akbar... Uh, Hashemi Raf, Rafsanja, Rafsanjani, I'm sorry, I, uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but he was, at the time, the president of Iran. There, Austria, what a, I've heard Austria just stunningly gorgeous country. Oh, uh, there we go, the Iraqi missile, this is what we had, the Patriot missile came around to combat this, the SS-1C, the Scud, the Scud missiles that the, uh, Iraqi force had. Kilauea, is that how that's pronounced? A surfer, I apologize. Kilauea class ammunition ship. Well, those were definitely a target. We've seen the U.S. Uh, the the United States Coast Guard before. Department of State with all the flags, and then a beautiful shot of Greece. So many countries involved. It's just the irony is the advancements technologically and whatnot that come out of war but the sad part is is that they have to come out of war it's it just makes no sense and these two i do remember opening these so let us finish off this memorial day uh memorial day opening and you know mild tribute to all military troops all over uh, and that's right, they had, this is the one thing I remember about these, they had like stickers of different emblems for um, different battalions and whatnot, and there were some that had kind of punny, um, punny messages, we'll see if we pull one out of the two, more of the, just the incredible action shots, the CH-53 Super Stallion, and this is the set, I remember having all of it, Machine Gunner, uh, nope, the EA-6B Prowler, just in so many planes that we just know, I mean, for so many different things. Marine firefighters, no, that is a bad machine. The AH-64 Apache, that is a bad machine, and it is starting to rain outside, it sounds like. Britain's Tornado, and the British have some amazing jets. Spitfire, that is all I have to say. The tow anti-tank gun, the cockpit of an F-18... Wow. And what do we got here? Yep, the 37th Field Artillery. And these are stickers, actually. Peel carefully, display proudly. All these will not be peeled. Uh, 37th Field Artillery motto on the minute. And I like the um, the, the crests and uh, emblems of all the different ones. So they will go up there. Ooh, wow, it is definitely getting windy out there. Stay on power. Tanks take a strong hold. Yes, yes, they do. The view from above, I mean, despite what's going on, it's just, it is a, a breathtaking view. Dawn in the desert. There we go, another of the military personnel. General Richard G. Graves. There was quite a few of these in that set. Satellite dish. The USS Wisconsin. That's another of the big ones, I think. Helicopter formation. Mid-air refueling, which still is crazy to me, and our emblem, the 41st Field Artillery motto, Mission Accomplished. Okay, I, I mean, I, I didn't pull the one, but it was one of the, um, I think it was one of the anti-aircraft uh, artillery battalions, literally, unless I'm completely 
making this up, but I really recall their motto being "We aim at high things," and that's um, that's that that's punny, you know. <laughs> but what are you gonna do? That aside, it was good to get back into these, and just kind of good to, you know, sit and shoot the breeze in kind of a non in a non pithy manner. You know, uh, so whatever you're doing today, please make sure that you are safe. Uh, again, happy Memorial Day and a very, very, very special thank you to all of the veterans out there um, for helping for helping to let us be able to do this. I think that about sums it up. So thank you so much for taking a little time out of your day to join me. Hopefully you enjoyed it. We will see you tomorrow. <laughs>